Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Loss. Today we will be going over what happened in this month in Dragalia Loss, talk about some of the stuff, read a little bit of it, and then talk about things that come for this month. I will start by saying it's a very light month, but it's kind of to be expected because they kind of said about the corona stuff, but there's still some stuff to talk about. Uh, before we begin, I already knew that this was coming because of data mines, but yeah, there's now a new Unbind pack with a, um, let me put this down a little bit. Hello? It's too loud. I've been watching too many D3 videos because I'm starting to say hello, as if to, uh, <laughs> to, in response to something, <laughs> which is what he does. Uh, there's a lot of Legend stuff out right now. Uh, go watch D3. Uh, but there's an Unbind pack for six weapons. Currently only paid, but I would not be surprised if later on this changes to where we'll get, we're gonna get some of them. Uh, it's still, I think, pretty easy to grind for Agito weapons compared to, uh, I mean, the overall grind for High Dragon Trials is still way worse, so they kind of need the 5 unbind more than we need the 6 unbind, at least that's how I feel. Um, I don't know, it's interesting. Maybe we'll get it one day. Anyway, let's start. Uh, hello again from Okada, here, Director Jigalia Loss. Thank you for playing, of course. There's the current event, of course. You can increase friendship with the Light Attune 5 adventurer who appears in the event, Wu Kong. Add him to your team uh, and clearing a quest. If you maximize friendship, he'll permanently be added. You can use items called Wu Kong Convections to upgrade them basically for free. Um, they all talk about Omega Raid Level 2. The theme song, which is really good. Uh, still waiting for it to come. I think, oh, this finally confirmed that it's all the way out. The theme song for the event, Force Your Way, was composed. The song for this one was really good. Uh, you should listen to it. Uh, the Gala Dragalia is live now. In addition to Galilea, the new dragon, Tishan Gansu, and the adventurers Radiant Zhuang Zong, Zhu Bajing, and Shao Wujing. Apologies for everyone who knows how to pronounce that correctly, including Leaf, who appeared in the current event, have also happened to be in the Summon Showcase. Starting with the current summon showcase, new non galad adventurers and dragons will also appear in Galad Regalia. Yeah, makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Galileaf will also appear during Galad Regalia, but Radiant, Zong Zong, yeah, they will be everywhere. Also, Galad Regalia was previously only available once every two months, but going forward will be held at irregular intervals. So I took this to mean one month. It's gonna go to one month. But then I talked to a couple people in the Trash Alliance Discord, uh, specifically Richard and Mayo, who kind of told me like, well, a regular can be, can mean many things. There could be two in a month is one of the things that could happen. But the thing that chances are will happen much more likely now is that Gala, Gala Banner will now be kind of random. So you can't predict whenever Gala Banner is going to be coming. Because that was the thing about Gala Banner is that everyone always waited two weeks and then only did their summons for those two weeks because the units in there were usually limited, one, and two, better than any other unit in the entire game. So it just made more the most sense to pull on it. But if it's going to be random now, I think you should be much more wary about what you throw your, your um, worm at going forward. I'm still going to be doing summon videos just because I like to do a couple of summon videos here and then. Um, and people like seeing them. So I guess you could look at those as something like that. But I would be very cautious going forward. Even in those videos, I think I'll if I'm going to push my luck, I'll instead choose to hold off. Just because the idea of there being constant gallop banners, we can't predict them anymore. That's scary. It's extremely scary. Not unexpected, but, you know, scary. <sighs> this is talking about version 1.220, which is recent release. Yep. Yeah. This is just the stuff that's already in there. Also adjusting the normal attacks and combos for some weapon types. Hmm. So I guess there's this further adjustment. No, this is talking about just stuff that already happened. This month's schedule, the first of the new event types and Onslaught event will start after the Time War Torment raid event ends. This event will center around solo play and quest where you must defeat tons of enemies. In addition to enjoy a story that focused on the adventurers, there are also quests where you must fight while shapeshifted. In late June, the main campaign will be updated with the addition of Chapter 14. The Prince and the Friends advance to the capital, Sol Alberia, and aim to take it back. In Chapter 14, you'll be able to enter Sol Alberia, which is a new map. What's more, a certain adventurer will join your roster when you clear Chapter 14. 
There will be a bigger story development in this chapter, so please play through chapter 13 to get ready for it. I haven't done chapter 13 yet, but I think I've seen the early th people thinking of the, um, who could possibly be the free unit for chapter 14. Um, hmm. Actually, I don't want to say, because it might spoil it, so we'll hold on to it. But I think it, based on where it's going, it seems kind of obvious who it's going to be. The Agito Uprising Volk's Wrath Master was released on May 25th. With the drop rewards from Master Difficulty, you can enhance six weapons to a new tier. Additionally, the new material that drops in Master Difficulty will also be added to the weekly bonus for Volk Wrath Expert. A new boss, Ayaka and Otaoha, will be added to the Agito Uprising at the end of this month. Since this boss is actually two characters, they have some unique movement. I hope you're looking forward to it. So it will kind of be like when we fought two Rathlos at the same time, which will be kind of hilarious, I think. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the next update is scheduled for the end of June. The update will include an increase to the number of team slots and reduction to the space requirement for the... Uh, thank you! It takes up so much space. Keep an eye on it. In conclusion, I know the balance adjustments and the new feature change play environment greatly, but I hope you'll try lots of different things and continue to enjoy playing Dragalia Lost. We're giving all the players the following items this month, which is a tome, which is what they should have given us the second they started this new thing, to be honest. And that's it for this month in Dracalia. Look forward to it. So, let me go to Galabanner real quick. I'm gonna do my daily deal while I think about what's happening here. Hmm. Yeah, this month is very light. It's hard to think about what could possibly be... I like how I said you gotta save for future banners, and here I am summoning. <laughs> Whatever, I want you. I want you. I want you so bad. How many single tickets do I have? Well, I'll do a little bit. Well, no. No. By the Stop looking. The Stop yourself. Students grow up so um, fast, and that is why I let's go back to this month of Trigalia. Yeah, not much to really. There's just not much right now. But to be fair, it's because of the Corona stuff. Like, they had to dial back a lot of stuff. The two-year anniversary is going to be in September, because the first year was in September. So that means at this point, it's really just saving for second-year anniversary. Next collab could also be coming. I wouldn't be surprised if they brought back Mega Man. That event kind of sucks, and so does Mega Man, but the idea of maybe, you know, if they could bring back Mega Man to make it a good event, and you know what, as much as I bag on the Mega Man event because it's bad, it does have rainbow orbs, so that's something. To be honest, it's the only event I think that drops rainbow orbs. I think the Monster Hunter one might have done it as well, but um, rainbow orbs are super important now um, for awakening units, so it'd be very nice to have an event that dropped rainbow orbs. For God's sakes, please give it to us. Um, but other than that, it's really just the changes to Galabanner is going to really change how things are going to be doing. And the main thing that they've said is that going on, it's going to be a galley unit plus a whole bunch of new units. But here's the thing about that. Uh, it's going to be much harder to pull galley units. It was already very hard to pull galley units when they were the only featured unit on the banner. Now they're going to potentially share their banner with four other characters. Or three, actually, here. One, two, three. This guy was a four, so he didn't really count. I don't know. I really think like if they're gonna include the if they're gonna increase the number of SSRs that you have to pull in Gala Banner, I don't think six percent is enough anymore. I think you need to increase the rate to seven percent Gala Banner. Mm. Yeah, there's something's gotta give with this. Obviously, maybe when we get closer to two year, we'll hear a little bit more. But even there needs to be something that's. Um, if Galbanner stuff is going to be harder to get in general, we need some kind of failback plan. Uh, Mayo was talking about it, who's someone who has not gotten lucky on a single banner since the first year anniversary, and he says the main thing that's really tough is that there's no real net to catch you if you fail. If you fail Galbanner, which by the way, if you notice here, I actually do have some missing worm. I had 69 when, nice, when I started my summon um, from last time, and now I have 65, and the reason is is that I spent 9,000 of it trying to get one of these units. Um, and not only did I fail, I got a dupe panda that I did not need at all. Like, I already have him fully unbind, so I just have a second panda to work on now. Like, 
that's not good enough to be a fallback plan. And I know that specifically in my case, I was able to get Gala, um, uh, Gala Leaf really early, but I really do want her and her real badly. And it kind of sucks the idea of like, once this banner is gone, there's really not going to be a rate up for these units any anytime soon. And if the units that are on rate up at any point, it's always during times when you're like crazy summoning. So it ends up make, making it so that if you ever want these units, you end up using them for um, the dream ticket, which is something they started using a little bit more. But that's really all my thoughts about Gala Banner. Gala Banner is the most important banner in Dragalia. Um, so it requires more thought than some of the other banners in the game, I think. I don't know. That's my current thought, though. Tell me about yours, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, if you ended up liking this video, leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. I've been growing a pretty good rate, so thank you everyone who's been helping with that. And it's helped, it's helped a lot by commenting, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. So until next time, everyone, I wish you a good day, and that's it. I don't really have an end sign. Maybe by the two year, I'll have an end sign. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>